Hey guys, um, before we get started, I don't want you guys to get dizzy here, so let me try and pull this off of the mount. Just wanted to show you what uh, what I did over here before I get started. Um, how to make room. Oh, let me see if I can pull this out. There you go. How to make room uh, for more paints, particularly the spray paints that were coming in. I moved the, the Vallejo cans next to the spray booth, but I needed spots for my, my new Tamiya cans that came in. And so what I did was I expanded the bench, adding this little one onto the end. And when I showed you the newly expanded uh, wall rack, but over here, I only had this one table. So what I did was I shifted it over and got this uh, cheap table. As I think it's a Walmart item. And um, you can adjust the height and everything. So I made it up perfect with this one. And what I did was I shoved everything over. I used to have a... Uh, shelf over here with all stuff on it my alcohol all my extra stuff uh, i put that just outside the door in the hall right there so it's still within reach and then i took my perfect grades and my bigger boxes and stacked them up and then i got this shelf here from uh, uh the container store it was an ugly off-white so i sprayed it black so it matches the bench and uh, now i got my cans i put them all in order i got the miscellaneous cans in the back but for this test we're doing these to me a metal colors and uh, I shifted all the spoons I got my spoons uh, labeled so everything matches as I'm testing them I'm keeping everything for a reference so it's perfect and then I got all my kits um, now I got them all nice and neat under the benches and uh, some car kits and miscellaneous are right there and uh, that's all just want to give you guys a quick update I'm gonna pause this video and lock this back in. I'll see you back at the bench and this is what the test is going to be today these Tamiya metal colors all right guys here we are back at the bench and uh, as promised Tamiya colors the TS series and um, this one AS I'll tell you what that is in a second but this is Every metal color they sell in a can, besides the gold and silver cans, that are priced at about $20 a can. There's something about the can. I've done a little research that because of the metal flake that they're using in it is very expensive. Uh, they jack the price up. So that'll be a separate video. I think we're going to test just those two because at 20 bucks a can, it'll be a more of a special video to see if this stuff's worth it. So I kind of left that out of the test as these cans range from five six seven bucks and uh so I, I figure we'll stick with these and uh i'll tell you what this one is in a minute but this is the ts lineup i think it just means tamaya spray and uh this is an as and i think that means aircraft spray and uh, anyway here are, the, here are the colors they're still sealed brand new except for one or two because i wanted to test to make sure they belonged in this test lineup and they do and uh well anyway TS-17 is gloss aluminum, TS-21 is gold, TS-30 is silver leaf, TS-42 is, can we see what that one is right there, light gun metal. This is regular gun metal, TS-38. This is metallic black, TS-40. I tested this because I wanted to see if it belonged in the lineup. It does. It has a gun metal look to it, so we're going to put it in the lineup. Uh, TS-75, Champagne Gold. TS-76, the number's also on the side. Uh, Mica Silva. TS-87, Titanium Gold. TS-88, Titanium Silver. TS-94, Metallic Gray. This looks like a great color. And TS-100, semi-gloss, bright metal, bright gun metal. All right, that's the lineup of the TSs. I think the other two are TSs also, the $20 expensive ones. They're part of this lineup. Um, now this, in their aircraft lineup, it's mostly flats. It's grays. It's 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 olive drab. Uh, you, you know the colors for a uh, World War II and... Uh, modern day aircraft so they have this lineup it's just for aircraft colors but this out of nowhere fairly recently too is a bare metal silver can you see it bare metal silver paint it's the only one in the lineup that's a, a metallic and i understand it's kind of 
it's kind of like an all clad color they told me so uh, this is this is great I'm gonna throw this into the lineup I wouldn't have noticed it because I knew all this time this AS lineup didn't have any of these metal colors at all and um, then this one popped up out of nowhere and it's getting rave uh, reviews from the guy at the at the hobby shop so this will be part of the lineup too even though it's not a TS um, it is a Tamiya spray and I even think it's the same price which is great if it's like uh, all clads or the metals we've been trying this will be a bonus to get some in a can like that if it's good that's why we're here to test it all right guys we're going to test it um, I believe none of this belongs on a black spoon I, I researched it so we're going to put it on a uh, a gray primate spoon uh, all of them on the same gray primate spoon maybe along the way we'll, we'll put it on some other colors just to see if it throws it off um, as I do in my test but uh, but that's the test for today. Um, we'll meet you over at the booth now, and we'll get these things going. All right, guys, here we are at the booth. We're going to try and paint them in order. Not that it matters, but uh, I got the paint sitting in a bath of hot water right below me, so I'm going to uh, wipe the cans off as I go with the water. I just did this one. Uh, we're going to start in order. Uh, gloss aluminum, uh, number 17. And... Uh, as I said, we're going to go with plain spoons. I believe these don't require uh, any kind of a base. And we will let the experiment begin. That's it. It goes on quick. Now, because this is a, um, an aluminum, what we're going to do is I will try this one over a black. Not much of a difference. Now, this is how we're going to do most of them. Gray primer. Yeah, that, that, that appears to be the best. Let's see. Sorry, guys, if I bumped the camera. Yeah, the difference isn't traumatic. So, we'll put them all on a, on a gray base. I figured we'll start off with that. All right, that's plain white. That's black. That's gray. All right, that's it. That's the first one. Um, I will try and not pause the camera as we go, so if you bear with me. See, I'm wiping them off as we go. All right, just a quick shake. I'm going to go all gray spoons. Make sure it's dry and dust-free. Stuff goes on really good. Alright, there's our gold. I'm sure it's going to dry a little different than what I'm seeing here. So, we'll let it go. Uh, they seem to spray pretty quick. They seem to go on uh, really... There's a blooper for you. They seem to go on uh, uh, really well on the first coat. So a quick spray we have here, Silver Leaf. Oh, holy cow, this stuff goes on fast. Almost like chrome. I think that's it. <laughs> that's it. Um, yeah, th that went on well. Let's see if we can get, make sure we get the proper coverage here. Yep. Wow, that is fast. All right. Next one is... Gunmetal. All right, dry it off. A quick shake. So far, pretty impressed. Whoa, that is good looking. A little more metallic in it than I would like. But then again, maybe this is a car, a car color, you know, an auto color. Terrific. Wow, that's a good one. All right, put that aside. Next up. Sorry, guys, we're going to do this on the fly. Now, I'm trying to dry them so we don't get any water on the, the spoon. Light gun metal.
quick shake. I shook them up before I started the video, so they're pretty well shaken. Try and start off just like you would uh, an airbrush. Yeah, it's similar, but it's a little lighter. Might not be enough of a difference to invest in the two of them, but this stuff dries a little bit different, so we'll wait for it to dry. All right, next up is, hold on a All right, next up is number T40 Metallic Black. Now, I don't know um, if this even fits in with these, but I figured if it's a metal look, I sprayed it quickly on a, on a raw spoon, and I, I liked it, but I don't think it's going to show up on camera as to what it actually is. Look, this comes out more like the uh, gun metal on, uh, from All Clad. But it's good looking. It's got that metal look to it because of the flake. But again, this is probably more for, you know, a car color, you know. But, eh, we threw it in. We're trying all the metallics. All right, next color. All right, next. All right, next one up. Champagne Gold. All right, let's take this one up quick. Dry it off. Here we go. I have high hopes for this one. It's a color I don't have on my wall, I don't think. Oh, nice. Very light color. Wow, really nice. Uh, I think that's it. Let's try this. Um, I'm going to try this over a silver. This is a, 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 a silver base spoon. Not much of a difference. Not much at all. Let's try it. Hold on, guys. I have a semi-gloss black primer put on this one. Let's try it on this. Uh, that might be different enough over the black. Again, we'll see it once it dries. The, the, the spray cans tend to dry very differently from uh, airbrushing paints. All right. Okay, guys. Next is... Hold on. They're just below me in, in, a, uh, in, a, in a bucket of water. They're really warm, too. Makes a big difference if you guys... Uh, it's about 35 degrees up here in New England. So, it's not that t temperature in the house, but... Still, it affects uh, it affects the spray paints. Okay, on this one we have uh, mica silva. If you can see it, I'll go with the can here too. There you go, number seventy six. Goes on really well. It doesn't run. Again, this is probably a car color, but I wanted to try all the silvers. You know, very nice. Um, you know what? I'm gonna try. Uh, I'm gonna try this on a black one also. Let's try it on a black spoon. So fast it covers just like the all clad quickly. All right, we'll see what that does. I don't think there's a difference though. All right, that was Micah Silva. We're almost getting there. We're past the halfway point. Alright, next up is uh, Titanium Gold, a color I do like. I like any of the titaniums. If you see my videos, you know it's a color I do like. I shake it up quick. Gray spoon. Make sure the spoon is clean. And here we go. I'll go a little lighter this time. As if I'm airbrushing. 
Nothing to dry it off with but my mouth. There we go. That's a beauty. I do like that color. Uh, you know what? Let's try it on a let's try it on a black spoon. Oh, well, it looks like it's a little deeper. We'll see. It looks a little deeper. Titanium gold. Next. Oh, down. Oh, keep hitting the camera, guys. I'm sorry, guys. Now down to the last four here. As I reach down. Bear with me. Uh, titanium silver. All right. That should match up with the other one pretty good. I see something in the spoon. I'm not crazy Trying to get a perfect job here. All right, here we go. Oh, this is a yeah, this is a good. This is a great color. A little more subtle than the gold. I hope you can see it on the camera. We'll wait for the the paint to dry, but if we get on the bench, it might look a little different. I do like that. I'm gonna try the, these on the black spoon also. When you first put it on, you can see the silver in it, but then the the titanium comes out as you layer it up. So we'll see how that looks then on a black base compared to the the gray primer. Great! Oh, that's a great color. I can see already that it's drying. It looks like a great color. 88 titanium silver. Superb color. All right, guys, we're getting there. Final three. Uh, metallic gray. This, uh, can you see it? Almost a brownish bronze hue. This looks like a great color. Um, they didn't have this locally. I had to order this one. But I think because it was popular, it sells out quickly. All right, here we go. Uh oh, too much metallic in this stuff. It's a little too pearl for me. Whoa, gosh. This is a. Yeah, I'm gonna let it go with that. This is a, definitely a car color. But it might look, it'll look good as trim on, on, a, on a Gundam. It won't look bad. You know what, guys? Let's go ahead and. Uh, let's do a, a black a, a black spoon. Hey, look, if you stop right there, can you see it? Almost like that color changing color. Yeah, it's definitely different depending on the base. Can you see it? A great effect, though. I didn't think it would change that much because this stuff is on the heavy side compared to airbrush spray. But that definitely came out a little different. All right, that was the metallic gray. Let that dry. And we have two left. And then we'll back at the bench and see the results. Number 100. This is the last number. Uh, gloss Bright Gun Metal. I'm holding a paper towel up to dry it. All right, let's check this baby out. I do like my gun metals. Oh, goes on good. Oh, this is a this is a good color. Good color. Look at that. Again, these have a little bit. They're not metalizers. They're they're just metallic colors. A little too much for me uh, in the pearl colors. But then again, I do build cars. This one isn't as bad. And I think it's going to dry a little different, too. So we'll see on that. Again, let's try this, uh, let's try this baby on a black spoon.
Yeah, it goes on, if you put it on lightly, it goes on like a, an all-clad. Where it covers right away. But the color does change a bit if you, if you put on a black base. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Very good looking color. All right, one left. Put this one down. I bumped one of them. I want to make sure it's perfect. There we go. I bumped one of the spoons when I put the other one down. All right, last one. And this one uh, could be the special winner of the batch. It's that bare metal silver in the AS lineup. This is the aircraft color. This one came highly recommended at my shop. So we are going to try this over black because I think... Uh, We'll do the great first, but I think, um, sorry if the rattle is interrupting my voice. I think um, this is more of a, what we're looking for as far as a metalizer goes. Yeah, it's, it's, it, it didn't have the pearl in it at all. Obviously, this is going to have to dry all the way through um, to see what it looks like. But we're going to try it on the black now. Hold on, guys. We got a spoon. I want to get a good one. Hold on, guys. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got. Yeah, put it on. Uh, brief. Just briefly touch it. I'm going to do this one a little different because the other ones seem more like uh, generic car colors where this is listed as bare metal what the guy told me at the store too so we're gonna go let it dry for just a second it's almost got that flat aluminum look so I don't know if I can buff this I hope I can but we'll let that go that's over black so bare metal and that's it guys bare metal silver is the last one we'll let these dry for a few hours uh, back at the bench Hopefully, these turn out good. So far, I see no runs. They look perfect. Very good-looking colors. Not exactly metalizers, but real nice alternative, especially about 6 bucks a can. And the stuff seems to paint on beautifully. Perfectly. So far, they all look great. Um, anyway, we'll see you back at the bench, and uh, hopefully the results are as good as they look so far. All righty, guys. We are back with an array of colors. Um... This stuff is all right. It's it's uh, I I really like it. It goes on good. It looks good. Um, if it's going to be glossy, it's got a beautiful gloss to it. Um, I can't complain about this stuff. It's not it's not expensive. It, it it it's it's good. Now it's not true metal colors like all clad. I'll compare a few all clads to ones I think are close. But for those without a, an airbrush or access to all clad, you can kind of get this to my stuff anywhere. To me, uh, anywhere. So. Um, it is a good alternative. Um, I think what we're going to do is we'll look at them in order as I spray them. So let's push some of these off to the side like this so we can look at them in their uh, order as I sprayed them. All right. Um, this is the gray primer that I used because uh, when I do a spray paint test with spray cans, you know, I like to go spray can all the way. And instead of using an airbrush for the... For the primer i use this because i figured if someone's going to use a spray can you know most of the time they don't have an air uh, an airbrush so they're going to use be using this as their primer so i like to keep keep it in the family uh, when it comes to primer uh, in my spray cans but we'll start with the first one the lowest number which is ts17 gloss aluminum uh there we go and Here's the results. This is over a plain white spoon. It's one of the few I did over a plain spoon just to see how it adhered. And it adhered good. Now this is the primer. Not much of a difference. I mean, we can probably get rid of the spoon. It's a little lighter. I can see. Barely on my end, I can barely see. You probably can't see it at all. Uh, matter of fact, I'm going to get rid of the white spoon altogether. And we'll just stick with the gray primer. And this is over a black primer. Let's see if there's a difference. No, not really. 
uh, you'd have to really struggle to see a difference. But it's a nice, smooth, uh, it says aluminum, but it looks like silver to me. I, I guess it's, it's not quite as bright as a silver would be, but it looks good. Let me see if I have something to compare it with. Uh, here we go. This is Dark Aluminum by Allclad. So you can see it doesn't have that shine, but it's, it's the same tone. See it? In the middle is the Allclad. See it? So it doesn't have a shine. So I, I imagine it's because you can use this stuff for cards and whatever else you want to use it for. It's not true metal purposes, whereas Allclad is really made just to recreate the look of metal. But again, if you dull coat it, you end up with the same thing. I, I think it's pretty, pretty close. So that's the closest I can find to compare it to with, uh, here's a shiny Duralunimum Dur by Allclad. This is the Allclad. Okay. I'm trying to tip it so you can see the, the colors. It's overlap. No, it's not. It's, yeah, it's a little darker. Yeah, it's darker. Let's try it with the, over the black. Yeah, it's pretty close. So, and, and this has a shine over the, the all, the all clad over shiny black. So, that is pretty close. Not bad. I mean, not exact, but, um, again, it, it painted really, really well. This gold is, is kind of impressive. Um, check this out. This is TS21 gold. And I only put this over the gray primer. Uh, um, I understand it. There's no, this is such a thick pigment. It didn't matter what it went over. And like the other stuff is more lighter. But this has that dull look. I buffed it. I buffed it again on my shirt. And this is how it comes out. And it's pretty damn good. This doesn't look like a gold paint, like for a car. This actually looks like a gold metal paint. Um, I don't have anything to compare it to. What is this? This is burnt. No, that's not even. That's not close. Let me see if I can get one from my all clients. Across the room, guys. Here I come. I keep all my all clads labeled in a little bin here so I can compare. Yeah, see there? This is their polished brass, but you can tell it's the same, almost the same tone, but the the polished brass here from all clad is really... Did I put aqua gloss on this? Yeah, I put aqua gloss on this. I mean, look how shiny that is. But um, this isn't meant to be shiny, I believe. So that's why it looks like it has that dull look to it. But um, there's got to be something in here, right, from these guys? Here we go. What is this? This is pale gold over black. Oh, there you go. There's the all clad. Can we compare? And here is the Tamiya. First time I dropped something, guys, on you. We're getting sloppy today. Let's get this out of the way so you can see it. Tamiya, all clad. Not bad, huh? Not bad. And I tested a lot of cans, and uh, this is this is not bad at all. This might have been a $6 can, if I'm not mistaken. Now, they have a, a $20 can of gold. We will be testing it as soon as I get my hands on it. But it's twenty dollars for this same size can. I, God knows what's in it. It better be real gold that's in it. But there you go. I like it. Let me get this bin of all clad spoons out of here. All right. Pardon my arms. Now this is the same series, silver leaf. Uh, TS uh, thirty. I'm gonna get your numbers. At the end, I think I'm gonna take pictures with the cap so you guys can match the colors. So watch the video through the end. I'm gonna have a single shot of each one of these with the number so you, you can write down the number you guys like the most. How great is this? I think this came out good. Uh, I like this. Now where is this early aluminum? Is, it has a shine to it. It's hard to see on, on my end. I mean on your end probably over here you can tell it's really shiny. Yeah, you can probably see it there. Yeah, see how, see how sharp the, the reflection of my lights are? And see this it's dulled out so that you can really see it there the difference you know but uh this is all right man I, this is this came out good too these are two good ones in a row three in a row i should say this is dark aluminum from uh all clad i mean that's pretty close right i mean that's pretty damn close it's, it's got the same dullness and texture i don't know if there's anything else i can compare it to what is this one this is over gray primer the same one dear aluminum it's a little darker but same uh same tone altogether, so very good, uh, very good. I'm impressed so far. I am impressed. All right, we have TS38 Gunmetal. Now this obviously looks like a car color to me. You know, I'm painting a Porsche kit, 
Um, I'll probably do it on video for you guys, but uh, it's going to be this color. I want some kind of a charcoal gray. I mean, I, I would I would use this color right here. This is kind of the color I'm looking for. You can't tell by the cap. <laughs> this is what it was supposed to look like. I thought it was going to be closer to this. I don't even know what I got. I mean, this is all clad's gunmetal. That's theirs. I mean, look at the difference. I mean, that's a bluing. That's a true gunmetal right there. It's not even close. I'm, I'm not even going to compare the two. You know, it, it, all clad gunmetal. So uh, I can't even compare it to that at all. You know, I'm trying to see if there's something else I can compare it with. Dark aluminum. No, it's closer to that than their other one. But, uh, yeah, there's nothing to compare this to. But it's a good-looking color. I mean, uh, it's not a true metal color. But it, it's sprayed nice. It reflects nice. It's a good color. You know, so far I like all these. This is light gunmetal. Now, let's pull the other gunmetal out. First, let's look at the gunmetal. Nice and smooth, just like the other one. Now, here's the darker gunmetal. Right, this is just plain old gunmetal. Now you can see it. See the difference? And light gunmetal. Matter of fact, that'd be great if you were to do a contrasting uh, uh, the shoulder and the forearms on your gun. And, and that would be good, the two colors, because it's very subtle, but it'll look great once stacked up. You know? I, this one comes closer to the cap color. Can you see it? But look, I mean, it's sprayed on nice. Now, I, I got a confession. Um, I went back and gave everything another shot, like a quick shot at the end. I like to do, I like to, when I use spray cans, I like to let it sit. Oh man, what a catastrophe. We'll leave that in, right guys? I like to let everything sit and uh, and then I like to go back and hit uh, with another coating because it, it's such a thick paint, these spray paints, that it's good to have them settle in. And uh, and I went back and I did. I, I went and uh, recoated everything. So um, I, 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 don't, I don't want you to think as I sprayed it in the booth is how I came out. I mean, they, they look the same anyway. I don't know if the difference would have been, but I do like to, I do like to go in again on my uh, my spray cans when I do spray cans. So I did I did go back and hit everything again, another coat as everything settled in. But uh, I think it, it still ended up looking the same. It's just a habit of mine. Um, this is light gun metal. Did we go through that one? Yeah, we just did that one. All right. See you guys when I hit the bench, I'm all out of sorts. What do we have next? Metallic black. Um, again, I think this is a car color, however, it's close. It's close to all clad's gunmetal. I mean, very dull here, but this has a bluing. This really looks like gunmetal. You can see almost the purple hue there, which is what gunmetal has. This is metallic black. Even though I shouldn't be comparing the two, you know, they're kind of close. But uh, this is it. It's basically, if you look closely, you can see a nice metallic in there. It's a metallic black. I, I think this is a car color. Again, no complaints. I do like it. I've liked everything so far. All right. We're trying to be careful not to knock everything down again. All the Gundams stood up, though. All right, uh, champagne gold, uh, TS-75. I marked my spoon with a black square. This tells me it was over black. That's how I, I'm, I'm doing it now instead of writing all over them. All right, this is it over the gray primer. And this is it over the black. Um... You, you can see a slight difference, but nah, not bad. I mean, if you want to spray your car or your Gundam or whatever you're building with a primer, it, I, it looks like it doesn't matter, to tell you the truth. Yeah, so go with either one. This stuff is heavy. It's pigment heavy. It covers anything, you know. But uh, champagne gold matches the cap pretty close. This is excellent. Now, let's see if we have something that can compare with all clad. No, what is that? Burnt metal? No, not, no, not quite. No, I don't have anything that really matches this. This is its own color. Let me see what this one is. That's a Duraluma. No, nope. nope, that's its own color, guys. This is its own color. So, I like it. I, I, I like this. Big thumbs up for me on this paint. Here we have uh, Mika Silver or Mica Silver. Let me know how it's pronounced, I guess. Um, here it is over the gray primer. Let's get this out of the way. Here it is over the black primer, the black primer. Uh, side by side, and eh, it's a little darker. Let me see. No, maybe not. Yeah, a little bit, slightly, but no big difference. It's not a high shine color. That's for sure. Let's compare it to its brother over here. Yeah, see, this again is a high shine. This, this uh, gloss aluminum is a. It, it well, it is gloss. It says gloss. If it says gloss, it comes out glossy. All right, let's compare this. This is the Mika Silva. 
over gray and this is the uh, gloss aluminum over gray yeah it's almost the same except it's dull it's got a rough texture too so again you could pick one of the two and you're gonna get the I think you're gonna get the similar results to so save money you don't have to buy each one of these colors like I do for my test you could probably take this Mika silver and get exactly what you're looking for without the shine but it's better that way then you can just shine it if you want to next up is titanium gold TS 87 all right first over the gray very nice again this could be a car color because you could kind of see the metallic in it let's look at it over black very nice color let's compare the two now nah, these these are almost dead the same I, I can't see a difference on my end guys so I'm guessing there's no difference let's compare it to something close here what do we have here pale burnt metal no nah, not quite not quite from all clad I should you know, I try to find colors that matches up with it a little bit, but nothing compares that I have. It's its own color. This is titanium gold. A little bit. Of, I like this. Anything with titanium in the color, in the name, I seem to like. That's a good one. That's a good one. All right. Now we're gonna go back over again. Now we're getting back into more titanium. Titanium silver. Now this ain't silver, obviously. It's more titanium, but it does match the cap quite a bit. All right, get that out of the way. That's it over gray. This is it over the black. I think I have a little bit more of a shine on the black, but then again, it is a black shiny base, whereas this is um, a dull gray. But they are, they're, they're pretty close. Just one's a little shinier than the other. Actually, let's compare it to the titanium gold. And this is titanium silver. There you go. Again, two good contrasts. Now, if you're building a Gundam kit, with two colors look at that and they're both from the same family they're both in the titaniums excellent this is excellent I like this I like both titaniums so far wow that, that's a great color the more I look at it good alternative guys the prices of these are they just they seem to be worth it you know this is metallic gray this is one of two that I had to search online because my local shop didn't have it this matches the cap pretty damn close all right. Oh, metallic gray TS-94. Again, I'll put the numbers at the end with the spoons. All right, this is it over gray. Over black. Let's look at them together if there's a difference. I don't think there is. No, I don't see a difference, guys, at all. This one's too heavy when you get a dark color. Unfortunately, this doesn't look too metalish. It looks more, again, like a car color, particularly when you got the word metallic in it. See it? But it is good looking, particularly from here. I mean, a beautiful on a car. Uh, let's see if I have anything close here. Steel over black. All clad. You know what? That's the color without the metallic in it. Can you see there's no metallic in the all clad? It's just a dead steel color, which is great. So, yeah. Definitely the same. Just about the same, except it's got the pearlized metallic in it, whatever you want to call it. Oh, well. Yeah, it's more of a car color. But I, I say cars because... You know, you could paint anything with it, but it just it seems to be geared towards that. Um, let's see if I got another one. Steel over gray. Okay, let's try it over the gray. Yeah, so yeah. it's almost it's the same color except uh, it's got this pearl, this metallic in it, and of course the shine. Very nice color. Look at this, even. No runs. The stuff just sprayed. Awesome. I'm dropping everything today, guys. I got the drops. All right, here we go. This is semi-gloss, uh, semi-gloss bright gunmetal. This one had the biggest title of all of them. Semi-gloss bright gunmetal. Let's check it. All right, to the cap, pretty damn close. That is spot on right there. That is spot on. All right, here it is on the gray. And here it is in the black. All right, I think I'm picking up a little more of a shine because of the shiny base, kind of a trend here. Let's see, it's, no, they're almost almost exactly the same. One's a, a little bit darker because of the black, a little bit. 
depends how I hold it. You can't even see the difference if I hold it a certain way. Um, let's see if I have anything to compare that to. I don't think so. Dark aluminum, no, it's a completely different shade. No, I don't see anything that comes close. No, I'm looking at my all clad pile here. Anyway, another uh, th this one is, isn't as uh, metallic y, if that's a word, as uh, the one we just looked at. I'll show you right now. Let's just pick one of these out. I mean, can you, see, you can really see the metallic in this. This really is probably a car color. This you could probably use on anything. This is a good looking color. Now that I think about it, this is a good looking color. It's not as, uh, I don't want to say the gaudy, but it doesn't have that metallic in it. Um, now this is bright, semi-gloss, bright gun metal. So look at the, let's compare it to the light gun metal. Oh, another good one for contrast. See? And how about the regular gun metal? It's pretty close to that. Oh, it is close to that. Well, it's just a little bit off, though. a little more metallic in the regular straight gun metal. Yep. No, great color. This is a great color. All right, that's the regular TS lineup. And all I have left is this AS-12 bare metal silver. This is part of the aircraft lineup from Tamiya. And let's check that out. Now this is more all clad. It's a dull, semi-rough surface. It looks like metal. I've, I've buffed it. I'm hold up my shirt so you guys can see. I mean, I, I, I buffed it like I could, but it's not really a buffing paint. You know, it just looks the same no matter how much I rubbed it. And this is it over the black. Now check this out. I got, I got a shine out of it over the shiny black. See it? See the reflection? And there's none in this? This is a true um, aluminum, silver, true metal type, like a, a more of an all clad than uh, they should do more of these. And I can't believe Tamiya, who is the biggest, one of the biggest model companies in the world, doesn't have a metalizer type of lineup. In the can I mean they just experimented with this and I'm hoping this is the only one in the lineup that they do this because this is excellent well let's compare it to dark aluminum from all clad see see you guys it's close and this is the shiny version look at that this is the all clad by the way this is the Tamiya so that is pretty close let's try and get a shinier one here if I can get closer to it this is the uh, Dura aluminum. Yeah, it's a little too shiny, but you can tell. There you go. It's just a slight darker version right there. This is the uh, all clad. So this is awesome. Uh, I recommend this one for sure for your uh, metalizing look. You put it over the gray, you're going to get this flat, dull color. Sorry, guys, I'm off camera. And then you put it over your glossy base, you're going to get the shine out of it. And it was that simple. It, it just came out perfect. It didn't run. None of the stuff ran. Um, I, I, I like the lineup, guys. It's a big thumbs up. This stuff went on great. Uh, I'm gonna. I, I think I'm gonna test their bright colors, their reds, their pearls, their metallics. I, I might do a, a video on them. Uh, maybe for uh, maybe we'll do a car body with one just to test it. But boy, the stuff just goes on great. It looks great. It hardens good. It, it's really durable. Uh, I do like it. I do like it a lot. Um, any questions on these you can ask me but uh, I'll put the colors at the end with the caps you can see what they look like individually and um, you could pick from there if you, you, some of them are kind of close you don't have to spend all the money on, on all that you could take uh, one of these you know the, the silver and not the other the, the Mika silver you know pick one or the other they're, they're kind of close but I want to test the whole lineup and, and, and that's what I do so anyway um, a big thumbs up I would grab these in a heartbeat. They're not expensive. I would go for it. And um, yeah, nothing to worry about. This stuff is great. Um, and that's it. I wanted to let you guys know, if you watch me all the way through, the SMS test I did recently, SMS, the bronze, the stainless steel, and the aluminum, um, they ended up even nicer than the video concluded. The stuff dried wonderfully it's it, it dry more even it's more durable than when I started and uh, don't want to overuse the thumbs up but this stuff turned out fantastic this SMS um, we could even compare it to these I should have probably compared the uh, right this is like the non metallic version of this you know this is the what's this one this is their stainless steel huh 
This is the SMS. I mean, the stuff is great. Great. Uh, I like to do a conclusion. This is their uh, aluminum. Look at this. See, I'm trying to compare it to uh, other light colors. Here we go. Aluminum Tamaya. The SMS. Look at that. This is good stuff. I mean, that's for, for airbrushing. And uh, if you're going to go spray cans, this stuff is not bad at all. It's not true metal colors, but they're nice colors. And um, I recommend it highly. And uh, I want to let you guys, like, oh, I'm stumbling on my words. I want to let you guys know that uh, I got some Spastix Chrome we're going to be doing with their protector to see if it takes away the, the shine of the chrome. And I want to try this, uh, this fine silver primer. Look at this. It's almost like a chrome primer. Can you see it? And it's fine, which is rare because usually the silver primers are uh, thick, like a, almost like a spray paint. But this is pretty thin, almost like chrome. So I'm going to try this primer out pretty soon, too. It's pretty unique. And um, we got the drops today, guys. And uh, that's all. I got more, uh, uh, so many more tests to go that I can't keep up. But um, we're going to try again another one over the weekend. I'll be picking one of these. Maybe we'll do the spastic chrome because I'm on a chrome kick right now. And we'll be testing that next. And anyway, guys, I rambled too long, dropped too much stuff. Um, stay at the end of the video and watch each color individually. And um, let me know which one you like. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, and we'll see you soon.